seven falls just to build these walls again It took winter seven springs to flow right to its death It took seven summer songs to get these strings to bend That's all it took and I gave you professional pizza but for 16 bucks I'm with it it's a high gloss finish with a self leveling agent and it looks really good to be honest now I know what you're thinking um, yeah why would you do it a cream color uh, off white or a uh, Starbucks coffee color uh, and that's because this Vanigan's for my wife, and I really think that she's gonna like this color, and it just suits her. Like, when I saw it, I'm like, that says, that screams Sam. That's my wife's name. So, it's set for 24 hours, and it's cured. I've touched it in a couple areas, and it doesn't leave any fingerprints, and it's not tacky. It's super, super smooth. I spent about two days cleaning this engine with a wire wheel and 220 sand grit paper in all the nooks and crannies. So while I'm waiting on parts, I currently have my Mansi Speed. So I'm waiting for my oil pump right here to come in. The crank is just like snugged in there. It's not, the bolt's not even in there. Um, I have the crank on so I could actually rotate the engine because I actually want to put the jugs in. Um, I want to get the pistons lined up, slide the jugs in, put the new seals on, and button up this block so I can get heads on. And anyway, once I get the heads on, all the accessories just bolt on real easy right after that. So I'm like almost at the halfway point with getting this motor back together. So these are recommended through every forum and every person that has built a van again in years time. I actually got all this pre-assembled, um, cleaned out, honed out, uh, assembled with the new piston rings. So these are factory pistons and jugs and everything cleaned up really well and everything was uh, miked and we are totally within clearance so I'm gonna start putting this bad boy together. In here is just a fraction of parts that I currently have for Noreen. But I did scoop up this complete engine rebuild kit. Um, there's my crank seal right here all the other seals that I'll need to get this engine up and running, but what we're looking for right there are those green ones and black ones. Green is for coolant control, black is for oil, this goes at the bottom of the jug, this one goes at the top of the jug, and um, yeah, this is actually a Maytag. Great workbench. So I have the jug uh, upside down, I'm gonna put in this black ring right here first. All we're looking to do is just knock this out a little bit so you can see your wrist pin. There we go. Alright, got some oil in here. I just pour it out of a bucket. We're just gonna lay it on in there. Just gonna put a little bit of oil on this also. Covered in oil. Nice. That's what you want. The connecting rod will slide right into this gap right here. We have the wrist pin slid out, and these two tabs go on the interior of the block. Super slowly. <laughs> and then all this is done by feel. It wasn't the easiest <laughs> setup to take apart, so, um,. Pretty sure it's not gonna be the easiest to go back together. All right, I'm not entirely sure if it was just like 
my nerves, like being nervous and like trying to get this thing assembled while recording, but the second I turned the GoPro off, I got it in. So it slid in and I can see the recess right there where the circ clip is gonna snap into place and keep that piston from uh, hopping out. So I'm not gonna lie, that circ clip was very nerve wracking. Um, mainly because there's such a small clearance right there and you gotta make sure that circ clip is in there nice and firm because if it walks out or pops out, there goes your wrist pin and you're pulling the motor and you're doing it all over again. So, I have that circ clip in place. Or better view maybe? Who knows? I can't tell. But it's definitely in there. I actually got it in place and then took my 17 mil and then just kind of tapped it to make sure that there was no resistance and uh, to also listen for that audible click when you hear that circ clip sit in its home. Just like that. You have one jugging. <laughs> now we just have to do that three more times. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Actually, it wasn't too bad coming apart. I'm not gonna lie. I think the circ clip and pulling that wrist pin out were the two hardest things. Everything else has been pretty simple and um, things have come out easy like the oil pump and the crank. All right, so we got these things nice and secure in the block, O-rings are on the rear in the top half. And I had a realization while rotating the engine, um, <laughs> the pistons are very tight inside their cylinder. And when you rotate it, it actually kind of creates enough friction to actually pop that jug right out. Um, so I can't get the other side um, reassembled <laughs> for that reason. So I think I have to actually put the head on so we can get the other jugs in place. So uh, I'm doing heads today. <laughs> um, yeah. And on that note, this is what we have.